What's up guys? Welcome back to Monroe Hills YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing chicken coops. <laughs> so we are going to go over the Tractor Supply Defenders Pride chicken coop and kind of give you guys a walkthrough and a run through of some things I've done to it. Uh, you know, what I think about it, my opinion on it, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are at the front of the run and just wanted to show you kind of do a walk around real quick of it to kind of show you exactly what I had to add to this thing in order to really get it secure enough for my liking to where predators couldn't get inside of it. Um, so basically you can tell that I've had to run, you know, hardware cloth all the way around the, the first four feet of the, uh, of the run for the simple fact that it's got uh, two by two squares down on the bottom side of the run. And, you know, I've seen predators squeeze through some pretty tiny holes. So I didn't feel like that was really secure enough for my liking to, uh, to prevent a predator from getting in here. Uh, you'll also notice that where these panels join together, um, here's one for example, this big opening right here is where this fence panel meets this fence panel. Um, so you've got this gap here that's caused because of this bracket, um, how the two join together. So, you know, you're going to have to plan on putting some, some hardware cloth there just for the simple fact of that that's a big area for a predator to squeeze through. Um, so plan on doing that. Basically, what I did was instead of using, you know, zip ties that would eventually break and deteriorate from the sun, is I just used galvanized uh, wiring and basically just twisted it around the around the run and strapped it all on that way. I was going to use hog ties, but that seemed a little more time consuming than just using this wire to uh, to get it all strapped in. All in all, I mean, it's pretty secure. The only other thing that, uh, you know, I'd love to get y'all's feedback on and, you know, somebody that, that knows coops a little better than I do and predators especially is this area right here on the top section of the, uh, of the coop. You've got these squares here that I would say that's probably six inches by two inches and they get small and then it's a big one and then a small one. Well, these big ones are more or less what I'm concerned about. Um, you guys think I should maybe run a wire along here to kind of make these, you know, that bigger one, two sections where it's a smaller gap. Um, let me know what you think, if that's something I should really be concerned about. I'm more or less worried about a predator climbing up, climbing up this and getting through those, those larger holes. Um, if you guys feel like, you know, that's something that would definitely help out or if, it, if I even need to worry about that. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below and we'll take a, we'll take a walk around now on the coop and actually show you that. We'll start with the backside of it and, uh, work our way around. So let's go check it out. So standing at the back of the coop, uh, this is kind of what you're, what you're looking like. So down here at the bottom of the coop, down here are both storage bins. So I'll pop them open here in just a second and, and show you, you know, how much storage you actually get. Um, and the doors right above that, so these two doors are your uh, nesting boxes, which they do have um, some pretty cool spring-loaded hinges on those uh, that basically, you know, when you pull it down and, and latch it back up, it's automatically going to pull itself closed. So um, really nice design on those. They kind of went a little extra on them, and I you know think that it's going to definitely help keep make sure it stays locked um so down here at the bottom i'll pop these open and kind of show you what we're working with so as you can see that's uh i mean that's quite a bit of storage so keeping feed in there and you know make it kind of convenient um to where i don't have to run to the barn which is way over there every single time to get feed so i'll be able to keep that stored in there and keep it under under lock so that'll be you know pretty convenient so they do actually lock and you can you can put a small lock on it if you decide to but as you can see they they slide lock and it's got some 
That would be a pretty small lock, but you could get a lock on there if you if you need to. So that's it on the storage containers. And your nesting boxes, like I said, if you look at these, it's got your little spring loaded spring loaded on there, so it actually will automatically just flip back locked. So if you pull that down and open it up, these are gonna drop down and give you uh, access to your access to your nesting boxes so it comes with basically five boxes in there that they can they can nest in um, which is you know sufficient enough for what i've got i mean the 11 chickens that i do have uh, the sapphire gems you know it should be it should be more than enough nesting room for for what they need so but that's basically the back of it so I will take you around to the, the sides. I'm going to start with the left and then go to the right side and just uh, show you those. And then we'll check it out from the front. So both the left and right side of this coop uh, are pretty much the exact same. Um, they're identical. So it's got two doors to it. Um, the top door up here at the top, it actually leads to inside the actual coop. And down here at the bottom side, this one is actually going to lead into the bottom side for clean out. Um, you know, just to get a rake in there. I'll probably never use that door. Uh, you know, doing clean out, I'll just get my rake on the inside and, and scrape it all, you know, into the inside. So, doubt very seriously I'll ever use those. Um, you know, we'll see what the purpose comes later on. So, if I pop this door open. This is the inside. So it comes with these little, you know, plastic tubs, which, you know, I'm not so sure on. I'm probably gonna end up building something out of wood that I can actually just slide the entire thing out of here for clean out. Cause you know, even, I mean, you gotta turn the thing sideways to get it out and it's just, you know, I, I don't know that I would have used plastic containers in here. Um, just seems like it, it's not gonna be very, very friendly cleaning it out. Um, it does have four roosting poles, so as you can see, it's got the four four roosting poles, and there's the back side of your nesting box. So it goes up pretty, you know, it's got a lot of headroom and clearance in here, so it give me room to hang a light in the winter and things like that. So we'll see how that all works out. Um, it also has a, a vent on the inside. As you can see, it's got that back vent that actually has a slider that I can close over over top of that vent uh, when I need to and open it up when I want to allow airflow so you know well thought out there's no doubt about it it's you know for a for a starter coop I think it's pretty solid like I said the only thing I would do differently on the inside of this coop is those bins I just don't find those bin, bins to be you know something that I see me using long term but we'll see so that's basically the side of it. And like I said, I'll walk over here to the other side and, and show you that it's pretty much pretty much identical. Not much changes with it at all. So you just got another access door from the other side. You know, cleaning it out will be nice because you can get in from both sides. And then same thing at the bottom. You've got access into the into the actual run under there. So that's the uh two sides in the back I'll go around to the front and show you that so this is the front of the coop uh, from inside the run so as you can see there's the little ladder to go up and um, you know same thing where the actual coop joins the the run there's just gaps you know there's there's big gaps that you do want to make sure that you secure because um, like I said they're, they're big enough for several different kind of uh, predators to get through so I would definitely make sure you secure those up uh, one thing I did forget to mention on the on the side over there is this bar that runs along here actually goes to the outside of the coop which allows you to open and close this door uh, from the outside so you don't have to come in here every time to to pop the door open to let the chickens out whenever you're ready to, to let them out into the run um, so I can kind of show you where that where that bar works and you know where it's located on the outside of the coop. So we come back over here. You'll see that there's where this bar is located. 
right here. So if I pull that, it's going to allow me to pop that door open. And then twitching, it's going to allow me to, to lock them up for the night. So real cool idea to, to make that on the outside of the coop without, you know, me having to manually go in and open the door every single time. So now I'm just going to tell you some of the things that I've done to modify this and, you know, things I've added to it as far as the watering system goes, the, the feeder that I've got in there right now and the plans that I've got to, to do with a feeder later on. Um, this top that's on this, this chicken coop, all this top, uh, it actually did not come with the chicken coop. It's something I purchased separately from Tractor Supply. They have a Retriever brand dog kennel uh, that they sell. And this is supposed to be the roof cover for their dog kennel. It had all the same connectors, same type, you know, metal. Everything was exactly identical to this. So I figured, you know, it had to fit. I mean, it was made for a 10 by 10 dog kennel and it, it fits absolutely perfect. So, you know, if you do want to add a top to it, like I said, Tractor Supply does carry a Retriever brand, Retriever brand uh, dog kennel that will fit these things. So, kind of makes it nice, gives them a little shade in the summertime. Um, so, it should work out. I was going to do a metal roof, but I decided this this is more more convenient for me than than laying metal on this stuff. Um, so, the downside to this this kennel a run was the middle. So where do these panels connect to these side walls? They go up and the two join together by these little brackets right here. And that's literally all that was holding the middle of this thing up. So I had some old cedar trees laying around that I basically decided just to put up here supports. And at the same time, I could use them to, to hang things from. Just made sense to me. Gives it more support in the middle and uh, gives me a spot to put things. So I decided to hang a little chicken swing from one. So I basically just tied rope around it, drilled holes through the bottom of them and tied knots and there you go, chicken swing. Um, my perch pole is just an old tree limb that's screwed into it. So, you know, there's no need in spending money where I don't have to. I've got things around here I can make use of, so why not? Um, the feeder right now I've got just hanging here obviously my chicks are gonna be little so I've got it set low but I want to do something different um, so I want to get y'all's opinion on what I should do for an automatic feeder or you know a feeder that I can access from the outside maybe a, a pipe that comes in or something and lay some PVC right here where it's you know the feeder can automatically just feed left and right um, so give me your opinions on that uh, the watering system I chose to do the watering cups so I've got six of these cups set up in here that are set up on just a gravity fed five gallon bucket not sponsored by Lowe's so but I've got it set up on a gravity bucket that basically feeds it down and the way these little cups work is the chicken will come over here and he will peck on this little yellow thing and as he pecks on that these cups fill up with water so not quite sure what the yellow thing resembles for a chicken to make them peck on it, but it does. So, um, so far that's worked out pretty good. Um, I meant to put a shut off valve on there, but I didn't. So I think it'll be okay. But I do have clean outs on this side. So I've got a clean out that goes outside the coop for cleaning the pipes out on this side as well as this side. So I'll kind of show you what I did on the bucket. I put a quick disconnect on it. So basically a water hose uh, quick disconnect that I screwed onto the bucket so that I could just take the bucket off and clean it real thoroughly when it needs to be cleaned. Um, instead of having to unscrew all the you know, different adapters and stuff, I can just take and quick disconnect that piece and it'll just pop that bucket right off of the, the water. Watering stand, same thing, you know, had some old pallets laying around and old cedar trees, so just made a little stand out of it uh, to keep my water on. So, didn't have to buy a table, which is great. So here's the floodlight that I used. Um, this little solar floodlight 
it's pretty cool it's motion activated or you can actually manually flip it on um, so if I'm out here at night and need to be doing anything and need some light I can actually just flip it on where it'll stay on and what I like about it is all of these are adjustable um, so I can take and turn these things up down flip them around wherever I need them to be aimed uh, for whatever I'm needing to do while I'm out here which is pretty cool um, so basically I just took the wire that plugs into this thing and ran it through the coop all the way around and mounted the solar panel on top of it so basically I'm getting the Sun it's charging my battery and then at night I can use the solar panel uh, to provide me with light so kind of cool um, I'll put a link down below to um, where you can get a light like this and solar panel and uh, maybe it's something you can add to yours if you decide to as far as what I did for all the way around the coop and the run I added on some wire um, and put it along the ground and then kind of just backfilled it with dirt and I did use kind of U stakes they're like uh you know they're just shaped like a U and I basically drove them down in the ground um, all the way around put in several of them all the way around to help secure it to the ground so that they couldn't pull it away from the uh, away from the coop and run but basically all I used was this type of wire right here so I had some of this laying around so I decided to just use it and get it pinned down so that you know like I said they could be protected from dig unders um, so that's it guys um, you know if you like this video go ahead and click that like button uh, definitely subscribe to our channels and we'll have future videos coming out soon uh, just covering different topics and different things we're doing around the farm but uh, definitely check us out you know they say that chickens are like a a gateway drug to farmers and mine are only four weeks old and I'm already hooked so you know that's why I'm talking about the expansion of this chicken coop already um, after four weeks of owning chickens it's definitely you know you want more so 11 of them just isn't enough for me so we'll we'll see where that goes in the future um, I definitely want to like I said I want more chickens and I want to get some pretty heritage breed chickens some some different ones that you know a lot of people don't see from around where I am here in Mississippi um, so anyway guys you know let me know what you think about the chicken coop any ideas you got on on the feeders and um, you know anything else that I could do to help improve this thing to make it predator proof and uh, I definitely appreciate any feedback or comments you guys could give to me uh, it would definitely be appreciated everything that I discussed in this video I'll make sure to put links down below in the retriever top uh, for the kennel uh, I'll put in the link down below as well as this actual coop um, I'll put that down there the solar panel um, you know anything that I've mentioned in this video that I could put a link in I'll make sure you guys are aware of where I got it and, and who makes it so anyway guys I appreciate you watching um, look forward to the next one and we'll talk to you guys later